how do you be present? Because you hear that term thrown around so much, you know, be present, you know, be in the moment, be here and now, be grounded. And it becomes thrown around so much that the, the term of being present itself becomes another concept. And you get so stuck trying to follow the concept of what you think being present means that you forget the entire point of it. For a long time in my life, I was trying to make sense of it all. You know, trying to get somewhere and make it to a destination where I would finally feel complete, where I would feel good enough, where I would feel attractive enough, where I would feel confident enough, where I would feel fit enough, where I would feel wealthy enough, where I would feel abundant enough, where I would feel peaceful enough. But what presence teaches us is that you don't need any of these things because these things are inherent in you, as you. And it sounds absurd to say that because we are so identified with the concept of things. You know, the concept of status, the concept of money, the concept of of fame, the concept of attractiveness, the concept of wealth, the concept of peace, the concept of presence. We get so tangled up into all these things that we have to be. We have to be, we should be, we must be. That we lose the presence in the here and now. Because the entire effort of trying to be here and now is another way of trying to attain. And when we try to attain things, it's a trap because the future can be put off for an entire lifetime. And there's nothing to attain. Attainment is now, in this moment. What is being present? It's not a concept. All that being present is, is seeing how this moment shows up and responding to it without a preconceived notion of what the moment is or what it means, but allowing the moment to flow through us as we are like empty canvases or like the clear blue sky which clouds float over. But we become so identified with the clouds that we, we begin to cling on to the clouds when who we really are is the clear blue sky. You know, whether it's daytime or whether it's nighttime, whether it's cloudy, whether it's raining, whether it's snowing, whether it's sunny, the sky is always there in its unchanged form. And it's when we become caught up in the changing form of the day and the night, of the clouds and the clearness of the rain and the snow. When we, beget, when we, when we become caught in the form of appearances through which the empty, canvas is, the empty canvas allows it to manifest, that is when our anxiety develops. You know, our mind is constantly grasping for the next answer. You know, this next thing will save me. You know, I've been stressed all day. If I grab a bite of KFC, that'll give me a moment, momentary pleasure of feeling whole, if only for a moment. Feeling full, feeling full filled, right? That first bite into that McDonald's or KFC after a long, stressful day. It's a moment of presence because it brings us back here All right we spend our whole day in stress in anxiety running around you know in this ungrounded energy but it's these things that bring us back and 
what it all is at the end of the day is is realizing that these things aren't inherently bad. Like, why do we crave them? Because it gives us that sense of comfort, right? It brings us back to our center of that relaxation, if only for a moment. Why do we chase orgasms? It's for that hit. Why do we do drugs? You know, why are people addicted to drugs? It's for that hit of that momentary feeling of everything is okay. But there's the, the deepest way to do that. It's possible. And you can have it in as, moment, as, in as many moments in your life as you can handle. And that's through the power of responding to what is happening to you in this very moment. And we all get caught up, you know, we all forget. It's so easy to get caught up in the world, you know, with how fast paced things are moving, with the hundreds of notifications that pop by. Like how many times a day do you check your phone? 100 times, 200 times. Our world has become so fast paced and so anxiety inducing that we forget that beyond all the appearances, beyond all of the changing appearances, they don't matter. They don't matter. None of what we achieve matters if we, we don't find a groundedness in our heart, in our center. You know, Naval said, a man who cannot enjoy his cup of coffee cannot enjoy a hundred foot yacht. You know, if you cannot find that source within, you'll never find it outside. And how often do we start to outsource our feelings of joy, our feelings of gratitude, our feelings of worthiness and wholeness? How often do we outsource that to outside things? Right? We get so caught up in this name of productivity and getting things done, you know, moving faster and faster and faster, that we forget who we are. We are beautiful souls here to experience the mystery of life. Right? You, you watch a beautiful sunset. You lie down on the grass field, sun tanning on a beautiful clear blue day. Is there a meaning to it? What's the meaning? of having a meaningful conversation with somebody. You know, at the end of the day, what we really offer each other is our, our ability to show up, right? First and foremost for ourselves. And when we are able to show up for ourselves, as ourselves, through ourselves, then we can start showing up for others. You know, we stop, we stop seeing how how what others can give us and what we can take. Instead, we start seeing how can we give? How can we share? How can we contribute? How can we spread the vibrancy and the love that is us? So I had to make this video because it serves just as much of a reminder to myself as it could to potentially you. So I hope this was helpful. Life can be stressful sometimes. But the only thing that matters is that we remember who we are. And remember that nothing can taint this essential nature and source of being that is inherently us. And anytime we can remember that you know, a feeling of laughter and lightheartedness washes over us. And it's really these moments that you remember, wow, life is so beautiful. And I didn't have to go on searching for it. So I'll stop there. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. 
helps a lot trying to grow the channel spreading the message and just seeing how it evolves other than that wishing you a fantastic evening night rain sun snow wherever you are and let's journey on all right peace out